Well, it's Sunday afternoon, and I've gotten my beekeeping chores for the morning done. And I'm going to take you through and show you uh, how well you can clean out really nasty frames. And I've done a video before on the step-by-step -step process of cleaning wax and filtering it and really refining it. So I'm going to show you when you have really nasty frames, wax moth damage, just really you know, gross stuff. I've got four boxes that I'm going to clean that are like this, and this is the best looking box of them all actually. And uh, I'm going to show you kind of what I'm starting with here. I've seen some people posting in different groups wondering, you know, if they're going to get any wax out of cleaning really dirty, nasty frames. It's all dirty and chewed up. So I just wanted to show you when you're starting with really dirty stuff, what you what you can get it down to. So I've got some boxes that are like this. I'm going to go through and clean them all. Um, just like I had before, using the water boiling method. But since it's so dirty, rather than filtering it right away, I'm going to do the more traditional route of boiling it and letting it sit overnight, taking out the block and scraping it and changing the water boiling it again and then repeating the process probably for three or four nights in a row then after that final cleaning when it's halfway decent looking then I'll pour it through some fine filters and really refine it and I'll show you uh, how clean we can get it this little bit here is just some some I had left over that was in the bottom last time it's only about a quarter of an inch thick at the most it's just kind of nasty and dirty so I'm gonna clean it with the rest of this as well and uh, Sunday now so probably be towards the end of the week before I actually get this done, but I'll I'll show you some video of that and attach it to here and make a little short uh, little thing for you to watch. I do want to show you that you don't have to cut all the wax out beforehand to melt this. If you have a lot of foundation wire and um, you know cross wiring and a bunch of metal wire in it that you really don't want to sit there and cut and pull out, you can simply just dip this in water and let it melt. And it'll pull that gunk out with it as well, and you can take it off later and just be less to have to uh, strain out. This isn't boiling yet, it's pretty close. I've got on some nice thick chemical resistant gloves. My thinner nitrile disposable ones, you get really hot wax on it, it tends to kind of mess them up a little bit. Basically, you just don't take any time, just dunk your frame. The dirtier it is, the longer it'll take, of course. See that quick, it'll start to break it off. And you can go in later after it's cooled down and pull all that wiring out of it. Or if you want to leave it, you can. It's just it's up to you. So uh, I just want to show you that. Okay, I ended up only having three supers that had all the really nasty wax in it. This is what it looks like when you're done melting it all out. What I've started doing is just take a, a scrap piece of number eight wire. You probably already have some laying around from making different screens and whatnot. This is like what's on the bottom of your screen bottom boards and your vent covers. To speed the cleaning of this up a little bit, I'll just take a scrap piece of this. Scoop it all the really heavy bits of cocoons and wax moth junk. Stick them in a never pot of cold water. This will just be a lot less time as if to boil and clean this. What I'll do in a minute, I'll heat this up and all the wax that's stuck to it still, I'll boil and separate that out. So instead of having to try to boil and re-clean this big pot over and over again, I can do this little pot, just the junk, a couple of times and then get rid of it. So I'm maximizing my wax yield while still at the same time cutting down my length of time to have to fight with it. And I'm not using a, just a ton of little fine filters right now. So I'll screen what I can get off the top of this, set it to the side and let it cool overnight and separate. I'll boil this little one down here and get what I can get wax-wise out of the rest of the trash and let it sit overnight. Then in another pot, I'll go back and take my frames, which have all kinds of nice little bits and things stuck to them still. I'll dip those into fresh boiling water and really get those cleaned off really well. And then I'll let that water sit overnight as well. And tomorrow I'll come home, dump the water and 
reheat it and re-separate it again. So just if you want to speed up the process, you take a scrap piece of wire and uh, use it as your filter to kind of clean all your junk out. Save you a few days worth of time and labor. Alright, now that I'm done with the first step, this pot had all the initial meltings from the three supers. This pot has all the gunk that I scraped off the top of here and threw in. And this is where I took the frames and went back through and just flipped them over end to end to melt off any of the, the residual wax and trash that was stuck to it. I also had a fourth box of frames that were just the frame only that I already cut the wax out of. So a little bit of that is in there as well. Now I'm just going to let them sit overnight and harden up and we'll, we'll uh, deal from tomorrow when I get home from work. Alright, now that we've let our, our wax uh, cool completely with the lid on, I do put the lid on to help keep the cracks from developing on the top. You can see we have a pretty nice, fairly clean chunk of wax. I'll get some, some clean water and rinse that off the bottom. And, uh, now you can filter that some more if you want, refine it a little bit better, but a lot of this little bits, anything that's left stuck on here is because my pot wasn't completely clean when I started. Because I don't need it this to be super clean since I'm using it in frames or for candles. But uh, that's how you do it. So even all that, that nasty, dirty, wax moth infested comb that we had, you can still get you know a good amount of wax out of it if you want to go that route. And uh that's well, that's about it. Thanks.